Hello everyone, I am Katerina Bembic from the University of Trieste. I'm going to introduce you the main ideas of the paper that my colleagues uh, Michel Pieri and I will present in Salamanca with the title Smart School Inclusion and Participation of Vulnerable Students During Distance Learning. This paper has the objective to analyze problems emerged during distance learning and reflect on possible solutions by considering the analysis of data obtained from recent national and international literature. The COVID pandemic has changed and is changing societies in profound ways, frequently aggravating social and economic inequalities. During the pandemic lockdown in 2020, schools in many countries were forced to close for extended periods. Uh, to try to limit the COVID uh, diffusion, government around the world have moved from face-to-face -face learning to distance learning, affecting approximately 19% of the world's student population. The, pand the pandemic has uh, uh, created unwanted opportunities to develop strategies and resources for home learning. However, many schools were not prepared for distance learning, this led to a loss of learning and right several problems, which will be the subject of this contribution. Our work proposed a critical reflection in order to rethink digital learning environments in the post-pandemic area, in order to support the learning path of all students and promote inclusion and participation also uh, of uh, those in condition of vulnerability. We conduct a bibliographic search in the national and international scientific literature relating, uh, relating to distance learning during the COVID pandemic and to hard to reach students. Starting from the main results of the research conduct considered, we have identified problems emerged during distance learning and possible solutions adopted by the school. We have identified the following topics of discussion. The change in home and school partnership, the, G the digital divide, the use of active learning during distance learning, the use of cooperative learning during distance learning, the difficulties encountered by foreign students due to the language barriers. We hope that this work can be useful for policymakers and teachers to avoid that the use of digital technology in school from being an inclusion tool and it turns into an exclusion barrier tools and to rethink digital learning environments in the post-pandemic area.